watch as well as pray that they live to see the coming of the Son of Man. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Fear none of those things without shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. What's that talking about? Feed my cats coming to America, Babylon the Great. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the peace. World War III. Armageddon, great famine, one house invading another. Hey, Mary, come here. Revelation 2 and 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. What is the second death? The lake of fire. Those that are, those that are, are, this, that are deceived and taken, the RFID chip. Revelation 13 and 16, the mark of the beast. And the last leg of this man's rulership, the, the revitalized Roman Empire. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish what that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. So God is not a man that he should lie. Hey, sorry. You got to be out of your mind not to see these prophecies coming to pass. Isaiah 55 and 12. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And the mountains and the hills shall break before you and you sing it. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. So ultimately, you other nations will be blessed in the Israelites, but you will be under the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. You other nations, you're going into slavery. So-called white man, you're going into slavery for a thousand years. Then you will be set back in your own land. And the so-called white man is going to be over die 1 in 18. Which means he's going to be done away with. Isaiah 55 and 12 and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the earth will be restored back to its former order under the Israelites, under the law, statutes, and commandments, under King David, under Amashiach Yahushai, under the Most High God, Yahweh. Revelation chapter 19, verse 19. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So, what is the beast, the revitalized ancient Roman Empire that is here today? 
America, Babylon the Great, the kings of the earth, these are the nations that have, that have been nourished by America, Babylon the Great and will ultimately make war against it to burn it up. Revelation 19 and 20, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him, which, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive to a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So the beast is his main system. Starting with the with the hub, which is America, Babylon the Great. The false prophet of these various religions that came out of Catholicism. Revelation 19, 21. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And all the fowls were filled with their flesh. In the valley of decision, the armies of the earth going to meet God's chosen people, which, will, which after they are set back in their own land, after they are given spiritual power, the remnant is talking about the remnant that survived Armageddon, World War III, FEMA camps, martial law, during the midst the implementation of the RFID chip, Revelation 13 and 16. Revelation chapter 5 verse 2 And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor on earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look therein and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look therein Revelation 5 and 7, and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. When he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them hearts and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Verse 5, one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. This started with the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ. And in the last chapter of the book of Malachi, you have Elijah the prophet, which will turn the heart back unto the fathers. This started when the truth came out of one west. All of New York, 125th Street, with our, with our, with our elder Rabbi Abba Vivens, to turn the father, the heart of the fathers, back unto the children. Which is why we have the 12 tribe sign, according to Ezekiel chapter 37. So the line of the tribe of Judah so-called black man, the blood of Christ, which is 
of the tribe of the so-called African Americans. So you heathens, you fucked up. The so-called white man, you fucked up by touching God's chosen people. Get ready for slavery. Enjoy your coffee and your shit sandwich. And have a nice day. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 9 and they sung a new song saying they are worthy to take the book to open the seals thereof that was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us to our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. The scriptures say your seed will inherit the Gentiles. It also says in the law, we will be a nation of kings and priests. So Revelation 5 and 9, it says they sung a new song, which is the understanding that has been revealed in these latter days. Giving you the 100% truth, giving you the 12 tribes. According to Ezekiel chapter 37, you got them devils cannot hide anymore. The truth is out. You've been exposed. You're finished. This land is finished. Done. The ICPM missiles will burn this God-forsaken place. Revelation 5 and 11. Now behold, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beast and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Talking about the chariots of the Most High God. Multitudes and multitudes of so called UFOs that you read about in the Holy Bible. Hamashiach Yahushai returning as an angelic power to deliver the remnant of his people, those that repent as Israelites, those that do not take the RFID chip, according to Revelation 13 and 16. The scriptures say, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? In the book of Job, it says we will escape by the skin of our teeth. You're supposed to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We cannot save you. The Most High God is going to save you in that day. If you're of the elect. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And there went out. Another horse that was red, power was given unto him that sat therein to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. There was given unto him a great sword. The red horse is symbolic for the so-called white man. The Edomites. 